A good friend of ours told us, you know, you really remind us of the Ben and Jerry's of peanut butter, and that has always stuck with us. Before COVID, we have launched a presidential peanut butter line that we did a huge PR push on, and we were picked up by Fox National News. And, you know, in 48 hours, we generated roughly 25,000 in sales. And so that was like our first kind of taste of viralness. The presidential line was successful because it allowed us to realize what our customers wanted. They didn't want the basic peanut butters anymore. They wanted um, something with a little bit more pizzazz to it. It also allowed us to get our practices down better, the way we make the peanut butter, the way we process the peanut butter. Last year that I introduced the cookie line and I was like, I'm gonna add a little bit of something funky into these peanut butters. And that really did stem from the presidential line because we created those flavors based on favorite foods that these um, the presidential candidates had. And so I just took it one step further and created the circus cookie peanut butter, the chocolate cookies and cream peanut butter, and the monster cookie. And it had add-ins, sprinkles and cookie chunks and M&Ms and brownies and marshmallow fluff and all of that kind of stuff to our peanut butter. It really elevated where people originally saw peanut butter as and has put us in a completely new category that peanut butter hasn't even touched. I did what any millennial did, I feel like, during COVID and I downloaded TikTok and I just found a couple influencers that I was passionate about and I just thought were funny. Like they had really nothing to do, I guess, with peanut butter necessarily, but just sparked joy in my life. And I reached out to them and I just asked them, hey, can I send you my peanut butter? And all three of them got my peanut butter. They posted on it. And that's really where Nerdy Nuts went from like crazy to absolutely insane, viral. You know, yeah, we were on Fox National News, but TikTok, obliterated those sales, like completely just hammered them. We actually have two kitchens now because we've gotten so big. Rapid City primarily focuses on our harder indulgence flavors, things that take much more um, intricate processes, chopping up things by hand, layering things um, into the product so that it will give you like a more visual appearance versus, you know, your basic spreads. People always ask us, like, do you compete with peanut butter companies? Like, do you compete with Jif and Skippy and Justin's and, you know, Wild Friends and Nuts and More and all of these other brands? And it's like, mm, yeah, kind of, but not really because our indulgence lines and like even some of our more peanut butter treats, like those really compete more with your ice creams like Ben and Jerry's, you know? So we always say that we want you to nerdy nuts, Netflix and chill. Um, and that's really where we're competing in our market.